guys, welcome to today. It's Christmas week. It's actually Christmas week, and it's morning, and it's breakfast time, and Penny is telling me off. She says, Laura, let's eat. But before we start today's video, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys that I want you all to uh, take a moment in today, just a few moments, to feel grateful and happy and joyous for the day that you have had. I want you all to stop and take a deep breath and pick one part of today to feel joyous and happy about. Whether it's walking from the house to the barn and watching your dogs run and jump in the snow or if it's those few minutes that you have before your baby wakes up all to yourself or if it's your drive from your home to your job and it's quiet and peaceful and blare the Christmas music and you're just excited and happy for today. No matter what your moment today that you choose to feel grateful and joyous about, choose it and feel it and believe in it and let that be the focus of every single day because there's so much joy in every day. We just need to stop and see it. Just stop and see it. Those few minutes of joy amongst all the hard can make the difference between a good day and a bad. And I want you all to have good days because we're here and we're alive and we can make a difference and we can be ourselves and find love and find happiness. And even more so, we can serve. And that's, and that's what I've been learning about this year is serving. And I'm gonna explain it to you guys eventually and see if you guys are into it too because it's been the greatest gift of all is being able to serve someone else. Whether it's smiling at someone who you can tell just needs that smile, supporting someone even if they're doing something that you don't do, supporting them and acknowledging them for the hard work that they're doing. Thank you guys so much for all your kind comments on my ride with Penny yesterday. That was so amazing and to have your advice on how to do what I'm trying to do better makes me really excited. I'm gonna try that soon. But serving another person can be such a simple thing that you do and it has the best rewards because it makes you feel so good in your heart. But welcome to today. I'm alone in the barn with all the animals, you guys. I'm alone in the barn with all the animals. It's Christmas vacation and it started. We had a supper with Kaylee last night. It was so much fun. The girls, they play video games a lot on the computer together. So it feels like Kaylee's always in her house. But now that she has a job and she's busy, we don't see her as much. So last night we had supper with her. The kids hung out. And uh, she's going to start taking lessons sometimes at our lesson barn. So we can hang out more. Penny, how do I give you a clean stall? and you end up looking like that. It's like, Laura, it's Christmas. I can look however I want. And it's true, I love her no matter what. And she loves me no matter how I look. I was like, give me my food. Back up. There you go. I'm down here doing chores all by myself because the girls were up late and I want them to sleep because we have our Christmas party tonight, and it's not actually a Christmas party, I just call it a Christmas party. It's our Christmas last ride before Christmas with the barn friends, and I love that group. And Brandon, we are gonna do a Christmas exchange of presents, it's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be a fun day. Woo. It's chilly. Chilly. I'm hoping to take a few minutes today to uh, try and do the uh, make Penny move her hindquarters in the arena. So I think yesterday she was excited to ride and she was willing and, and happy to ride, but she was also distracted by the grass and she kept wanting to go to the grass. And so I think if I try it first in the arena, then we'll be able to practice it and I think she'll get it. She definitely knows that she's done it on her own so many times and she's done it when I've asked her by mistake. So I'm sure that we'll be able to get it. It's just me that needs work. All right, Penny Pickle. Let's figure this out here. Why? You always, hey, Gracie. You gotta be like that, eh? That's my girl. I love her, even her dirty tail. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, I'll be, yeah, I'm gonna come clean the arena. You and I have a date later, Penny Pickle. I love our horses. <laughs> Hi, Gracie. 
Hello, princess. Hello, princess Barbie doll. Yeah. Yeah, you're so good. You're so good. Uh-oh. Morning rolls. Morning rolls with Willow. Uh-oh. Why didn't she shake? That's odd. There we go. All horses shake <laughs> after a roll. Watch for it. So how this works when we let the kids sleep in is that I come down and let them out or Sam comes down. We feed them. We feed them and then I do my stuff and then some <laughs> and then at some point during the day the girls come down are responsible for doing their own stuff and they do it. They always come down. As long as it's done by bedtime or by the time we leave for the Christmas fiesta at our lesson barn, then I'm happy. You guys coming? Where's the daisy dog? Uh-oh. I've lost the daisy dog. That is not a good thing. That is never a good thing. Oh, no. I found her. She was just eating poop. Just eating poop. That's what she does. That's her favorite thing in the morning. So, uh, last night we had Chinese food. It was super yummy. But what happened to your noodles, Gabby? They burnt them. The store burnt them. I've, we've never had burnt Not noodles really burnt before. Them, but they taste burnt, so it's probably like they cooked it on bad stuff. Yeah, and they smell burnt. But Gabby's a trooper. Mine weren't burnt. She's still gonna eat them. Oh, I put a lot of hot sauce on it. That's why they're all red. Oh. See? Yeah. Thumbs up this video if you like hot sauce. Uh, oh, last night. Last night we also went to Walmart and the girls got stuff to make slime. Everybody get ready to judge the slime. This is a slime judging a competition. Sophie is the queen of slime. Show them your slime. It's really good when you put a lot of hot sauce on it. It is soft and fluffy and pink. Pink does not stick to your hands. Oh it's, so, it's only sticking to her hands because she, no. she has warm hands. And it smells glorious. Yeah, it's on your thumb there. Oh. So you just have pink thumbs. All right, well, let's check out Gabby's slime. Gabby and Kaylee mixed. It's not mixed. fully mixed. Oh, wait till she mixes it up a bit. Yesterday, they went into Walmart and they came out with this DAS clay. They thought it was Daiso clay because Kaylee it started like, with oh a D. Kaylee's like, oh my God, or we should get Daiso clay. Yeah, so that happened. It was a mistake. Whoa, that is some slime. Holy heck. That was all thanks to me. All right, Ready? let's see. Ready for the ASMR? ASMR. killing me right now. All right, come on, hurry up, show us the slime, because I'm going to ride my horse. <laughs> so this is Gabby and Kaylee. It melted because Kaylee put uh, some snow in it, and then we mixed it. <laughs> yeah, so you guys decide. I have glitter on my stomach. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Yeah, okay, so Gabby has glitter on her stomach. That's a great visual for everybody who wanted to know what Gabby's Only stomach is. Only two pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you take it off? Interesting. I so did. this is Gabby and Kaylee slime. Be looking. It's getting less and less sticky. Sticky. My slime was perfect though, and then we mixed it with Kaylee. Yeah, so. Kaylee did not make good slime. Sorry, Kaylee, but you are not a good slime maker. I even maker. gave her my glue, and she messed it up again. If you want to be a really good slime maker, then you need to be homeschooled because homeschooled kids have way more time to make slime. I'm headed down to the barn right now because some of you guys have been telling me some good hints on how to get Penny to yield her hindquarters. I'm going down to do that also. I have been I have been making up some more grain for the boys and I need to get more grain from the barn so I can finish that. Well, I think I told you guys we we're headed to the barn to have riding lessons and kind of do like a little Christmassy thing with our horses and somebody's going to dress up her horse. Uh, so I'm going to go and do my ride right now really quick and show you guys what I learned in the last 24 hours. I literally have five minutes to ride. I come down and she's standing at the door waiting for me. I'm like, let's do it, sister. It's really cold today compared to yesterday, but I really want to come down one day and ride my horse bareback in the arena. I just want to start riding her bareback so that we get used to it and I get used to riding her bareback and she gets used to me riding her bareback. Like, I think it would be fun. I crave to ride bareback. You guys should be impressed. I just got these horses out. <laughs> All by myself. A couple of treats and my bare hands. And it was not easy. The worst was both of them. <laughs> Gracie went out really easy, but then she was crowding me while I was trying to get Willow out, who did not go out easy. All right, I'm almost done. <laughs> trying to be fast. Actually incredible what you can do when you have no time. 
the girls are supposed to come down so that they can get stuff ready for the barn. Like, Gabby's going to bring her scoop boots. You guys, somebody commented saying, like, when a horse loses a shoe, you can ride still, like, walk, trot, whatever, with a scoop boot. That's what they're for. And that is true, and we have read that before, but it just seems like... If there's too much of a discrepancy between feet, then it could cause issues for a horse. And so I don't know if that's such a good thing. She's going to bring it though, just in case. But I know Brandon has other plans for her. Our farrier is supposed to come put Chino's shoes on, do their feet uh, early, like by Wednesday, I think. Anyway, so, um, but tonight she'll probably ride somebody else. And Sophie has plans to uh, decorate her horse for Christmas. And hopefully we have more than one red saddle pad so they can both wear red saddle pads today because it's our Christmas ride. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. I got my dancing shoes on and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gon' be adventurous. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. dark in this spot. Alright. Let's see if I can get her to do it this way. No. She's only good on that one side so far, but still, she did it. You probably didn't get to see much of that. The, the, the footage, like the light in this room is terrible, but the things I worked on, I tried to get her to yield her hind quarters and I only got a step and I think I got a step three times and it was when I tried to yield her, like I tipped her nose into the right, to the right, she did it. But on the other side, she didn't do it, but she was thinking and she kind of, she understood. But anyway, I stopped after one step just so that she would know that was what I was asking her. I think I did it. And then also I was working on, it didn't seem like much, but for me, I just kept hearing Brandon say to the girls, keep her, keep your horse between your legs. So I, w I was working on going straight and keeping her from going where she wanted to do. And what I did was I tried to keep her between my legs. That's like such a good visual for me. Like I understand that for some reason. Riding is hard for me. I don't have an aptitude for it. It's something like this. I'm 52 years old and learning to ride by myself with the help of a bunch of subscribers. And it's like, it, so every little tiny success that I have or that I feel like I have is just so huge for me. But yeah, I love that. Short and sweet and to the point. <laughs> and now we're going. All right. So we are at the barn and the Christmas jumps are still here. So he's like, oh man, I do not want to do it. 
What's your Santa hat on everything? Everything's scary. It's, a, it's our Christmas ride. None you should go jump it. Yeah. All right, go. Oh gosh, here they go. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. Another usual. Kids are tampering with the jumps before the instructor gets here. They're fixing it so it's less scary. Are you guys afraid of a little jump? No, it's almost up. Mm, mm hmm. Likely scary. Yeah, I'll believe it. Hopefully the coach doesn't watch the video. So we're the first group here and we're getting it's light out. We booked our lessons earlier today because it's the last day. And so I had to message Brandon and say like, who should we catch? Oh, need the treats. And I have the list. I have the list of all the people we're gonna catch. I'm bringing this whole bucket of treats. I'll actually be able to get good footage today because it's light and I'm already frozen. I was gonna wear a sweater layer up but i didn't but i also have to pee so all right guys let's go we have to catch storm and buddy oh gosh now gabby's running huh. storm buddy okay. lily Swim. you're lily finn. and finn. What about second finn finn and gray finn you're finn you're gray finn let's go the trick with catching Bunny is have light so you can see and also bring rain and don't let him see the halter. The halter is the thing that gives it away. I have no idea when life changed to the point that everybody's over there watching Laura catch the hard to catch horse. Like, I have no idea how this happened. All of a sudden, Laura's the brave one over here catching the horse. And then, yeah, us, the youngest one and the oldest one. Look at how fuzzy you are, Stormy Boy. Aw, oh, he loves a girl. I'm the animal whisperer. I am the animal whisperer. I did it. Everybody just standing over there where it's nice and dry, watching. Do you guys actually remember, though, a time when I was terrified of horses? And now I'm in the field catching, like, the hard-to-catch ones in the bad footing. Hi, buddy. Half of it is, like, super deep in it. And the snorting horses. Oh. Like, oh, I did that myself. I'm so proud of me. With <laughs> He's like, do I get the grain now? You get a treat. <laughs> you get a treat. All right, now we gotta go catch our own horses. Here you go. <laughs> Just joking. Woo, woo, hi. Hello, handsome. Look how cute. Yeah, I'll give him a treat. He's like, I'm looking at every single individual one. All right, we don't need these. We do not need these for any other horses. Hopefully not. Oh, look, he's looking for me. <laughs> Just joking. I gotta get our bag. Okay, who are we? Getting? I think he was in the shelter looking at Salt Lake. Yeah, Finn loves the Salt Lake. So I thought I only saw one horse over here, but if you look between the, the buildings, you can see pink. My daily allotment of grain for the horses. We also got the care tech so that we can treat Chino's feet. Gabby's not riding him too. But we're gonna bring him in so that he can get his feet done and get out of the cold and out of the rain. Like, they've are like, I like to bring them in every other day or so so that they're getting like a break from being in the field. All right, you ready? Oh, look at how handsome you look. You look so handsome, he's glowing. Do you guys see it? Oh. <gasps> hey, you be not, hey. Don't you be mean. <laughs> Sophie does not want to do it. She does not want to go and chase down her pony. She wants him to come to her. You ready? You ready, handsome man? We brought his boots, just in case. Just in case, yeah, he smells that I have food on me. Caught, buddy. No, no, yeah, all by myself. Everybody stood there, watched me, put the inexperienced old lady. The last two times, she's the only one. She's been the one that's in the best. Yeah, who? Kate? 
You. Am I? Well, he usually doesn't think I'll ride him. <laughs> There's storm. All right, here she comes. And he is not looking happy. He's like, what do you mean? I thought I was retired. So last night I dreamed of us at our new farm and we had a big, huge, gray, goofy horse there. Hi, Shay. This is what? good that I bought Yeah, I know, because they all have dirty feet. So I'm gonna, this is Storm's blanket that goes back on him. Warm one. I'm gonna use the red saddle pad for Christmas. Walk right up to the gate and everything. Watch you walk right up to the gate. Is this our girth or Brandon's girth? Look at that girth. Brandon. That's a disgrace. I'm like, who's that crazy horse just licking the metal, licking the metal, and then I look at his blanket. I can only tell our horses now by the blanket they're wearing. And it's our horse. So, how much is the mud? That's not bad. You need to start bringing gloves to wear. My horse has mud on the car, but I never wear them. So we're finally got the Caretex, and I ordered some other things we're gonna be doing with Chino's feet, but he's been doing better about pulling shoes, that's for sure. Yes, stay, stay there. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> We're just gonna let it dry. I let Gabby out. Don't worry, I didn't lock her in. You have to stay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you leave it, watch. He opens it. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna eat on it. Hello. I have a carrot for you. Let's see the fashion show. Hold Let's on. see. I still gotta tack him up. Okay. You can't see yet. Okay. He just got the boots on. Just got the boots on? Okay, so over here. Finn, you be looking Christmassy and cute in red. And chubby. Oh my gosh. Does he need a bigger girth? No, that girth is way too big for him. Oh, he look chubby. Hey, wait, I got, a, I got a video of the fashion show. This is the fashion show that is Finn, you guys. Look at how cute. Well, hello, Finn. <laughs> Finish the reindeer. Gosh. <laughs> Did you get a smaller girth? Are you talking to us? All the horses can smell the treats on me that I used to catch the horses. You look so cute. And he likes this hat. Look at his boots. Yeah. You hate that hat? Here, I'll fix it. We have mums helping all over. Everybody getting ready their horses. All the Christmas ponies. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.